This is a video by Rich Pin. Today we are working on this Saturn S series, but what we're going to do will pertain to any vehicle out there. Have you all seen some of these automobiles that have the directional arrows inside the side mirror? Well, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to install a pair of those in this car right here. And so the first thing we need to do is to remove this mirror from the car. Now to remove the mirror, we need to first remove this little cover. And underneath there you see this little foam piece. Now the mirror is held on by three 10 millimeter nuts. One there, there, and right over here. We need to remove those now. All right, we have our mirror out. And what we need to do is remove the lens, which is going to be a little tricky. So we're going to need some heat. So we want to heat that up. We got it. We got it. With my gloves, that thing is probably hot. Hot, 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 hot. Yeah. Look at that. Excellent. Whoa, that thing is hot. All right, let's get a flat surface laid out on. Here is the kit we're going to be using. Uh, it's from a company called IJDM Toy. And uh, these are sequential lights. Look at that. And what do we got here? We've got a double sided foam piece right here we can use for mounting. Uh, of course this kit comes with uh, one for the left and one for the right. Wouldn't be good if it was just the left or the right, right? <laughs> the um, price was pretty reasonable. It was like uh, $24. So, now the next thing we need to do is get our heat going and we need to clean up this area right here and take off this silicone and this and of course we don't want to scratch it. No, I'm just working on this one right here and uh, I'm going to be using a um, single edge uh, blade right here and uh, Is there a special glue you put on it? They use um, they use silicone See how soft that is? Yeah. From the heat. You can move the silicone to a different spot, in other words. Sure. Like well, down in here. Have to. Now I think we have three choices on how to mount the light. First would be to put some silicone right in here. Put the light like that. Next would be to use the little sticky pad that they gave you, put that down and put that on there. Now, the problem with that is once you put the lens on, look at it. See how much higher it's going to stick up in the air? Now, what I want to do. is to remove these three T15 headed bolts that are down in here in these three holes which I've done already. 
but you got to be very careful if you live in the rust belt I broke two of them off but I repaired them so be warned about that and the reason I'm going to remove that is I'm going to cut this plastic and put that light on the back side. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a template and transfer that over right in this area right here. Okay, this is not quite the template I'm going to be using, but I'm going to work on that right now. Here is the paper template that I made. You can see that it's a little bit smaller than the actual light so that will give us some um, bearing points for the light to rust against and if we take that away you can see that the little LED lights underneath there now we're going to transfer that template over to the back of our housing here. So we're going to center that in there like such and we're going to cut that hole according to that template. Now I had to take a little file and right here on the this side had to file it down just a little bit, not much. A little trial and error. And once you do, okay, there she is. She's laying flat right there. Look at that. Nice tight fit right in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut the hole from the other side. Now I put some tape on the housing here and this blue line is the projected outer dimension of the light from the back. So here is our cut line and you can see it's well inside that. So we'll cut that out and then we'll fit that to the light so we get it right where we want it. We're using a coping saw here to uh, cut that out. Drilled a couple quarter inch holes there and then we had this big hole that was in the housing right there. And Now we're going to start trimming to fit. Here it is, I just finished up. Now she's in place. And if we flip it over and look at it. You can see that all the LEDs are showing through and we still got some material left to give it a, um, a good base. And we have this area right here where we can 
put some of our um, compound on. Well, I think we'll use JB Weld right there. And there's a little spot right here. And you can see that you actually have anywhere you want to put something to hold that in there, you can. And what that will do is that will strengthen this piece a little bit also from the material we took out. So it should be pretty good. Here's the light. She's all JB welded in. Fits like a glove. Um, I was just installing it. Guess what happened? The wire came off the board. You gotta be kidding me. I went in, checked the website of those people that have this. They have no phone number. Luckily, I have mad soldering skills and I soldered that wire back on the board and she works fine. But be warned about that. The uh, little silicone that they put on the wire, if you're going to be messing around, put a little JB Weld on it like I did right here, secures it a lot better than that uh, silicone they used. All right, we got our piece all in. Ran into a little bit of a problem though. This hole right here that we covered up was of course there to get at the screw that holds it down. Now, just as it so happens, that is the screw that busted off and I could not get it out. And I drilled a 1 16th hole beside it trying to relieve the pressure on that screw. Now, what I did, took a little file like this. You can see I made a little cutout right here to get a screwdriver in there. And what I used is a number four by five eighths Phillips screw taped it to a little screwdriver and went right in there like this and she's nice and tight and we got the other ones in there so we're looking good all right we're just about ready to put the lens on hey before I do that check out my fixture here in the vise for this uh, side mirror pretty slick very easy to work on. Alright, now let's get back to business here. Um, we've got these little pieces right here, extreme mounting tape. Oh, I'm telling you, boy, these things are sticky. We got one here, 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 and then this one right here, I'm ready to pull off. Now, and what we're going to do is we're going to even put some silicone on there, like they had it. And that spot right there, that spot we can't put over here, these two spots over here, but we'll put a little bit right there. All right, now, let's get this backing off. Okay, now, let's put some silicone on here. That's a good little dab, huh? Okay, time for the lens. Oh, and uh, make sure you use some alcohol on here and on the lens right here, which I did. Here we go. <laughs> okay, now let's put this on here like this. Weight it down like that. All right, she's all tucked in for the night. I give it about 12 hours overnight. That thing should be golden.